moment of, of Kobe being Bryant. Chop, what about you, man? Chime in for a second, Chop. This is our producer, people. Yeah. Chop, what what is your fondest moment of Kobe? I think my my personal fondest moment of Kobe was uh, that time when they played um, and he uh, raped that girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, Chop got serious with that. Like I didn't know where he was going. <laughs> Uh, eight, eight, 81. 81. That's how yeah. I mean. Here's a second call. Alright, 99.9 the plug. Who is this? You know, this is Alex Dawson Green Acres. How y'all doing? Alex from Green Acres. Oh, yeah. What's going on, man? What's good, man? You knew I had to call in as soon as I heard the Kobe topic. Yeah, man. What's your fondest moment of Kobe, Kobe before you get into your spiel? There was a game uh, that week. There was one week in March. They were still fighting from behind to make the playoffs. And um, they uh, played the New Orleans Hornets. It was Hornets then. Uh, on that Wednesday, and they played the Raptors back in Los Angeles that Friday. That Wednesday, Kobe and the, Pe and the Lakers were down. I think what it was 104 to 8, no, 102 to 84. Uh huh. And Kobe and Jody Meeks wheeled them dudes back to victory. And Kobe had a ridiculous stat line. I think it was like 42.6 rebounds, 12 assists. They were down 18 with like five minutes left to go. And they won the game by four. I was listening to you, you are a diehard Laker fan or a Kobe fan. When did they start calling? When did they start uh -oh. calling Kobe the Black? I know what time it is. Do you know Bring that? I'm a violin. All right. You know what, Bob? You gonna get off my man, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Break out my violin. Somebody crying. <laughs> bro, every week I call in the fuss at you, dog. <laughs> Kobe, uh, they won the game one seventeen to one fifteen. Kobe had forty one point six rebounds, twelve assists. Ridiculous stat. Triple double. And like I said, he. To me, he was MVP that year because he took the team, even though he tore his Achilles that year. That second half of, you know, the NBA season, there was nobody better in the NBA. There wasn't. So, that's all I got to say about it. All right, man. Appreciate the call. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these cats are really hurt, boy, about Kobe. I'm telling you, man. Kobe can drive the airways, man. Kobe, I told you. And you telling me that. Hey, look. I'm on ESPN homepage right now. It's not even. Kobe is not even on the homepage. You mean to tell I tried to tell y'all that Steph and the Warriors would be the hot topic for the night. Nobody want to see that. I tried to tell y'all. Nobody want to see Steph and them. They blew the Grizzlies out by 50 points early this year. Who want to watch that, man? Let's be for real. The that Grizzlies, was earlier this year. The Grizzlies are finna arrest everybody. Playoff start. Oh, we got another call, people. 99.9 the plug. Who is this? Hey, it's Maddox. What's, What's up, going on, Maddox? Hey. Hey, I just want I want to call in. First off, Boz, you are an idiot. Take Manning is a legend. Come on, man. Tell him again, Maddox. You hey, Manning is a Maddox. legend. Tell him again. What, what is he? Hey, Manning. Uh, uh, I need, I'm, thank you, Chuck. I'm, I'm just calling. I'm, Give my I'm violin only calling going. until you take Manny. He is a legend, man. Come on. Maddox, my one violin. more time before you get on the phone. What is my violin? Ah, uh, whatever. Whatever. I just want to hear my you violin. say it one more time. What is Boz, Maddox? Maddox, we're going to hang up on your oh. tail. <laughs> <laughs> Maddox called him an idiot, man. Pay man ain't a, ain't a legend, bro. You I don't care what y'all say. Maddox said it first. Hey. I don't care what y'all say. Peyton Manning is not a legend. Okay. He is. Is that? He is. Give me. Anytime. I mean, first off, he does have two rings. Facts. Facts. All right, Give me some has, facts. He, he has two rings. Can you, can can you provide he facts? Ring. Well, he got that another Fine ring. Fine bomb junior. Can and you provide he, facts? He's also the greatest <laughs> regular season quarterback to ever play the game, and that means something. Yeah, Dan Marino was too. No yeah. rings. No. No. So you mean tell me. With two rings. And Dan Marino ain't no legend. No, he ain't no legend. Um, look, why are you trying I to get say me he is. fired? I said he is. Because I'm about to cuss. Uh, 
seriously, this boy said Marino is not a legend. I'm over here spitting flames over here, man. Are you serious? Come on. We took my damn Marino. All right, man. Thanks for the call. Dan Marino is not a legend. Okay. Kobe ain't me, though. <laughs> Boy, that's crazy as hell. <laughs> Kobe. Kobe, man. Again. Bean Bryant, man. My fondest memory of Kobe, man, I must say, is uh, in, a, in, a, in a losing effort against the Pistons. <laughs> Stop killing me. <laughs> and the, the losing effort uh, against the Pistons, against Tracy Billups, when it was basically a five game sweep. Right. I mean, they won one game, of course. But that's when they had Carmelo, Gary Payton, and uh, they thought they was going to, was it four? Would have been four in a row? They went to four in a row, but they lost that fourth one to the Pistons. And uh, the boy from Alabama, what's his name? Ben Wallace. Uh, with Lyons, that County. Lyons County, baby. Lyons they were, County. Hey, they were tying his number tonight. Pistons on it? Yeah, they were tying uh, Big Ben's number tonight. They made the playoffs, too. They the AC. Speaking of that, did you see when... <laughs> Your boy called out LeBron and the Cavs, and they played them first round. Yeah, I don't think you want to wake up that sleeping giant, my boy. <laughs> if somebody need to wake it up, I don't think you want to wake LeBron up, my boy. Like he finna go off, he finna go on a, a hiatus from social media too. Who's better in their prime, LeBron or Kobe? I compare Kobe Cole, closer to LeBron. Cole, Cole, Cole. man, Kobe is. What separates the two? What separates the two? Kobe got that dog in him. LeBron don't. Yeah, that's the only thing, though. Because all around player, I still take LeBron. All around all, player. All, most definitely. I don't want you. But as far as just the pure talent, of course I'm going with KB, man. Last second shot. Who you want with, your, with the ball in your hand? In their hand? Oh, I got to go with Kobe. Yeah. I mean, hands down. Like I say, he top five all time. LeBron top seven all time. He's not top five. Wait a minute, Cor. Look, Kobe, I, Jordan, Magic, Russell. Man, I don't put Russell in there. You gotta put no, Russell in there. No, no, Russell. 11 rings? I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You gotta put Bill I Russell put in there. Now. I ain't put nobody in there that was born when my grandma was there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, my grandma don't even remember Bill Russell. And they about the same age. I asked her about Bill Russell. She was like, who is that? But she can tell me who Michael Jordan is. <laughs> Come on, man. Again, I put Dr. J in there. Stop the Dr. Magic. J Dr. J revolutionized Stop the game the for Jordan. Jordan said who he grew up idolizing. Stop the man. Dr. J. Just because Jordan idolizing him don't mean he's no. top five player. He put the dunk on the mouth. Bruh. Not the globe trotters. Dr. J. Stop the madness, man. Stop it. Just right now, Dr. J is not top five. Top ten. Listen, Dr. J, Kobe Bryant, Jordan, Duncan. I put Shaq in there. What are you doing? Shaq is top five all time. Shaq top ten. Okay, people. <laughs> this is the last night of the sports show about nothing. <laughs> Dynamic duo. This fool says Shaq is not top ten. I mean, I can't. Top five. I'm sorry. I can was better than Shaq. Boy. Look at me. Hakeem the Dream, Elijah Warren, was better than Shaq. Yes, I said it. I didn't stutter either. Did you, did you see me stutter? Hey, I, I didn't stutter. I wonder does Chop have any cricket sounds over there? <laughs> no. Man, Chop playing the music because he'll he, he, he slide away well agree. Shaq <laughs> is the most dominant force in NBA history, but that don't mean he was the greatest. He the greatest big man he of was, all time. Man, get out of here. He was all not time. better than Hakeem the Dream, man. Yes. No. No. Even though the dream took him to took him to goddamn school. Who did Hakeem win his two titles alongside? That was a start. That's my player. favorite. That's my favorite Kobe moment right there, Drex. He just said when Chris Child gave Kobe that two piece and a biscuit. <laughs> that's my favorite moment too. Hakeem, man, man, Hakeem, top ten. But Kobe in there. Kobe most definitely in there. I don't even put Jordan in the top five because he on he over, he over here by himself. So oh, yeah. when I when I created top five, I can't even mention him. I mentioned everybody else, you know, but he, he took side by side. So on your basketball Mount Rushmore, we got a couple seconds before we go to break. On your basketball Mount Rushmore, who, who are the four four horsemen you have up there? Kobe, LeBron. This fool said LeBron. Kobe, LeBron, Duncan, Barkley. Four. 
Kobe LeBron, Duncan Barkley. All right, people. Only person that don't have a ring in that is Barkley. All right, people. <laughs> we'll catch up on the other side. We're gonna have to talk real talk off this off this airway because we can't curse on the airway. This is DJ Bob. This is Ricky D. This is Sports Show about nothing. Why well, you at your damn mind? <laughs> Oh, throw back. Throw back. And it ain't even thirsty. All right, people, welcome back. This is DJ Vaughn. This is Ricky D. This is a sports show about nothing. 73 and 9. Call us, call in 1 800 979 0802. Tell me y'all think. Do you think the Warriors will get the record tonight? Um, they showed on yeah, I looked at a chart on ESPN. And it was a 97% chance that the Warriors will win tonight. Man, that shit been you know a hard. How, you know how hot it is, though? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. 97% chance that they win tonight. Man, those numbers are outrageous for a team to play another team that are professional grown men. <laughs> 97%. That's crazy. That's crazy. No shot at all they're giving the Memphis Grizzlies. Which, I, honestly, if I was Memphis, though, I'll sit down and just be ready for the playoffs, which Memphis would be facing in the playoffs. Uh, Spurs. Woo! First round? First round. So, you know, well, let the Warriors have their fun. Never get it. Well, Memphis. They're coming home early. It's been real. <laughs> That's why I rest. You know, I let them go and get the record. Who go to state matching up with? First round. Go to state. Come on, man. James Harden. I thought it was gonna be the Utah Jazz though. Cause they were neck and neck with the, the Rockets. So the last week or two. The Warriors got their final their final um playoff spot. Uh Houston. I'm sorry, the Houston got their final yeah. playoff spot. The Warriors won, of course. All right, let me just let me just go out. Warriors one, Spurs. For people who don't know, Warriors one, Spurs two, Thunder three, Clippers four, uh, Trailblazers five, uh, Dallas Mavericks six. Mm. I Memphis. didn't even know they still play ball in Dallas. <laughs> Memphis seven and uh, shout out to everybody listening down in Dallas right and now. And the Rockets are eight. And you know what's amazing is all three Texas teams make playoffs. Yeah, that's good. Neither one of them will win the championship, though. Two seed, six seed, seven seed. Spurs. Cleveland. <laughs> the land, huh? He's coming back to the land this year. How you think that matchup going to be with James Harden, Dwight Howard, and uh, Golden State, though? You think it's going to be a sweep, or you think the Rockets going to pull out one or two games? They'll, they'll, they'll win one in Houston. That's it? That's it. They'll win one, and I think Golden State will let them win one just to let them win one. Yeah. Let them win one just to, just to go ahead and end it in Oakland. James Harden going to show out. He played no defense now. We know James <laughs> don't play any defense at all. But offensively, I guarantee he averaged 30 points a game. This series? Yeah. Nobody can stop James Harden. In the league, nobody can stop James Harden. No. 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 You must know. There's no defensive that player that can stop James Harden. James Harden put up points when he get ready. That's all I'm saying. Now, he can't stop nobody either. That's true. So, I think... You think you tell me Clay or... They're, they're definitely going to put Clay on him because Steph... They can't stop him. Steph don't have the size to match up with James That's Harden. That's why I say he's going to average 30. Now, he need to average a triple-double to get him a chance. But he's not going to do that. He's nah. not that type of guy. Nah. Who's Cleveland playing in the first round? Detroit, right? Detroit. And I can't name a guy off Detroit. Reggie Jackson, man. Ray used to play for uh, Oklahoma. Man. All right, people, we got a call. 99.9 the plug. Who is this? Hey, look, this, this is Mar, though. I'm calling from Montgomery, Alabama. Right. What's going on, What's up, player? Uh, now, I'm listening to you and Rick talking, and 
I hear this thing crazy. Rick say <laughs> Jane Hall ain't gonna ever 30 points a game. Man, I'm, I'm, he, thank you, 30, brother. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Because that 30, boy. 40 points a game anyway, and they still lose. <laughs> so if you tell 30 and they still lose, what are you scoring 30, 40 points for? Tell him again, man. Man, he don't have no help. What, what you expect him to tell do? Tell him again, man. I mean, no, no. Okay, you you go for forty, and you what you have. If, if you want, if you want to do this, he he's been the set that well. He came very close to setting the lead record for one year for turnovers in one season. <laughs> like, what are you doing besides scoring? Who like, else so you don't play no defense, and the offensive end. If you're not shooting, you ain't scoring. You get nobody involved. Nobody. He don't even run the ball through the white. Man, you tell me one player like that. But he got him to the playoffs. It's gonna win a championship. He's not gonna win a championship, but he got him to he got a team to the playoffs. Kevin Love gonna do that when he was in Minnesota. I, no, I mean, no disrespect. <laughs> it don't matter about getting there when you go home first round. You're but right. Might as well don't be there anyway. But who's the other superstars? Every team got three superstars that win the championship the last ten years. Who else okay, does? We go, yeah, we go. We go. We go. Last year, we go to state. If you want to look down by the numbers. Ain't really nobody put on on a consistent basis. They just caught a a Cleveland team that shouldn't have been a only reason Cleveland was there because they came out of the East Coast and they ain't, they ain't have to bow, they ain't have to fight nobody. What the hell are you talking about? They put all their trust in them. <laughs> I'm talking about last year when Golden State. What did what did Curry do in the playoffs last year? He, he really ain't showing up. If you want to go by the facts, you want to go by the numbers. He really ain't showing up. Like he's showing up this year. He had an off playoff. Well, I. A all finals, as I would say. I mean, for one, he didn't play any true point guards. You know, everybody was either sick, hurt, damaged, or some type of way. <laughs> so, I mean, I, the role was... Care. They still went playing when the game got on the line. Everybody making up excuses to why go to State won. It ain't go to State fault that they caught teams in the, in the West that a certain player were hurt that might have gave them an advantage. It wasn't Golden State fault. They called Cleveland when two injury prone players that's been hurt their whole career got hurt before the finals. Who so called that is? So I'm trying to say. It's I'm your fault for signing them. Are you a Cleveland fan or are you a Houston Rockets fan? Man, I'm a Chicago Bull fan. Oh, so we sit at home, sit that, at home tell it all right there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> that speaks for itself. The Bull, Derrick Rose, is gone after this year. Well, who's going to take okay, him? Okay, time out. Who's going to take him? Time out. Who going to take him? You going to take Derrick Rose. If, if y'all watch the end of the season, Derrick Rose done played the most game he has ever played in three, four years. It took him a, you done made three, four years of a, a professional sport. Of course you're going to come back rusty. Of course you ain't going to trust your body. But this year, he kind of had what he figured out. So he's going to never win another MVP because we both know it's over with for him. He ain't going to never be a, another top five, top ten player in the league. Really? It's, but at the end of the day, his, his, that, that, them facts. <laughs> now, Lord, Dead Rose, I buy his shoes. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'll buy them now. You know what? Until they go on the right? <laughs> you became a uh, Bulls fan because of Jordan, right? No. Oh, Derrick Rose. I'm going to put you like this. Come on, man. Be honest now. I, I be, honest. I'm, be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I, when I first started watching basketball with, with my with my stepdaddy, you understand me? He was a Dolphins fan. I became a Cowboy a Cowboy fan. He liked the Lakers. I was a Bulls fan. Like I've been doing this since I was a little boy. I, I, I even I even watch hockey. I'm a Colorado Avalanche, Avalanche fan, and, and they they pretty suck right now. I'm a Braves fan in baseball. I ain't got nothing to brag about. I'm gonna stick with one team and I'm gonna ride them. I remember we drafted Kirk Harris or Marcus Violet. or Pfizer. We've been a Bulls fan my whole life. But you became a Bulls oh, fan man. because of number 23. Hands down. I mean, I was a Bulls fan. I mean, I was a little boy when I picked Chicago, so I honestly can't tell you why I picked them. But <laughs> since I picked them and since Jordan left, I've been a Bulls fan when we weren't making no playoffs. We were pretty trash. And we got an owner that won't even, they didn't even want to pay Mike and the rest on to bring him back. But I'm still a Bull fan to this day, regardless. I don't, I don't think I'm saying, don't question my loyalty to my team. Because <laughs> we've we been, we, we, we don't hit rock bottom, and I still was a Chicago Bull fan. Well, the conversation started with James Harden, and it ended with, um, Mark being a Bull fan. 
Hey, so if Jane Harden go to the Bulls, you'll rep the Bulls even harder, right? I'm not, no, no. I'm going to rep them regardless. I don't care who come or who leave. When John retired, he wanted to come back and go to Washington. Bye, John. I'm a Bulls fan. I, I'm not. I know people who are LeBron fans, and wherever LeBron go, they go. I say, man, LeBron go way over here, Chinese play. Y'all go try to try, try to learn how to speak their language, bro. Like, I don't do that. I'm staying where I know and who I love, and I'm a Bulls fan. All right, thank you for the call, man. Appreciate the time. That boy, that went to the left field. <laughs> the right field. <laughs> right field. He went to the dugout. <laughs> boy, what is we talking about? What is we doing, people? What the plug? Uh, Who's this? Yo, Chad, bro. Chad. Oh, uh, here she is. Here she is. Here she is. Bro. Bro, Chad, what's going on, bro, Chad? Oh, I can't call it. I can't call it. You gonna be in Tuscaloosa this Saturday? I just might. I just might. You gonna be in Tuscaloosa this Saturday? You know I am. I'm coming down there full Auburn gear. <laughs> they gonna run them out. Oh my lord, not no Auburn gear. We don't need you down in Tuscaloosa that Auburn stuff. I'm coming right. down there full Auburn gear. Look for me. Well, if I see in the back all, all, all the gear, I know who it is. You already, right, <laughs> <laughs> already, you know, you know that's gonna be me. How y'all, how you think y'all gonna look this year? Oh, we gonna look fantastic. We going on to another championship. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't even have a quarterback, do you? We, we don't get us a quarterback. Don't worry about it. We always come through. Okay, I, we'll see. I, I, I'll take your word for it. I believe you. You see how he's stuttering? What, 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 them, what, what them Eagles going to do this year? Them Tigers, what they going to do this year? Uh, let me tell you. Get them a coat. Let me tell you. We now went we gonna, down there this fly weekend. High. Look, we went down there this weekend, and when I saw they looked a mess, they was one for 22 on third down. That is awful for it to be a spring game, and you go one for 22 at home in front of over 45,000 fans. What the hell is going on with Gus Malzahn? It's my question. Did you hear? Did you hear the key word spring game? Exactly. But you supposed to look better than that. You gotta look better than two, one for twenty two. One for twenty two. My child can get out there and complete a pass and get a first down and going for one for twenty two on third down. Just, just make sure Alabama do better than that this Saturday. You watch Miami spring game. Man, we ain't we ain't. Oh, we gonna we gonna do we gonna do better than that. We gonna do better than that. I heard that now. Y'all make sure y'all y'all make sure y'all get out there and, and and show out now, cause I'm I'm sure I'm gonna talk about it. Oh well, well I've been right here next week tonight. You talk about it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, let, you know, how many fives you gonna get us tonight? How many fives I'm gonna get? How many you want? <laughs> Roll tag. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your call. This is 99.9 The Plug FM. I can't get no sleep. Oh, that's it right there. You should let that play. That's top about oh, 10 oh, seconds. Oh, 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 oh. The Scooter Crew had a partner named Sasha. Sasha. Uh, <laughs> All right, we back, man. This is DJ Bob. This is Ricky D. And this is the sports show about nothing. But you know what, man? I think the people wanted to hear that one. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Somebody hey. just called up, man. Call back again. Uh, 1-800-979-0802, man. Call in. Phone lines up. Rick, did you see Jordan speak? Blow it. Blow his win at the Masters. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue, Top. I mean, like... This dude, what was it, five stroke lead chop? Five stroke. And they, he let some dude come back and win that I never heard of. That was his first major. He was? Yeah, that was his first major win. He still celebrating. <laughs> the guy that won played golf at Jacksonville State, you realize that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Wow. But he talked like he's from London or South yes. Africa or somewhere yes. like that. You got that 
he, high, he's mate. An, he was an Irishman. Oh, okay. He's not that high, mate. It's all over the place. George Speed Blower, man, would, would you say that was one of the worst individual performances you have oh, ever seen? by far. Like, he was out, like, all he had to do was, all he had to do, all he had to do was maintain. That's he all he had to do. Go on, going away. He would warn. But he, what he, what he did on the back nine, he back, he put one in the lake, put two in the lake. <laughs> like, come on, Jordan. Golf is a dying sport, man. It's a what? It's a dying sport. Okay, that is the end of the. Uh, no, we're sure that. No, 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 no. That's fact, though. That's fact. You got your laptop in front of you. Pull it up. That's a fact. That yeah. Dolph. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was bumping that Dolph coming in here, man. That way, way. But golf is a dying sport. Seriously. I mean, look at the numbers. So Tiger Wood made golf is what you're saying. I'm not saying Tiger made golf, but what Tiger did was brought people to golf that never was interested in golf at all. And I ain't talking about just black people, you know, I'm talking about just people of all races. <laughs> he brought the younger generation in also. Uh, and that's all with all ethnics, not just black. And he also was a guy that created controversy. You either love him or you hate him. It wasn't no in-between with Tiger. And all I'm saying is Right now, golf don't have a villain, somebody that you can say, hey, this is the guy I want to win or lose. Anytime you got a sportsman, a villain, it's just going to amp the ratings up even higher. Every time. Look how even basketball ratings has dipped. Even with Golden State doing what they have done last year and this year, ratings of the NBA has dipped. Now, when the uh, Miami Heat created that team back in 2010, 2011, man, the NBA race was skyrocketing and that's fact look at the ratings i take the ratings man it's part of my job man is to be on these stats yeah you just stack yeah. we gotta stop it man we really do uh it's senseless violence uh i've been young before i did dumb stuff stupid stuff in my time but whatever happened to fist fighting though people scared to get embarrassed man you know they knew each other right it, no i did not know you know that. he that's was the I'm assistant saying. he was the uh equipment assistant at the Saints you are kidding me. while he was playing there also his um, sister was killed by I uh, know his father, father was killed, by, was police killed by a police officer in New Orleans he sued the New Orleans Police Department and won money and Will Smith was having dinner with the chief of police and the sheriff right before right an hour before yeah. he, he got killed and they took pictures him and Pierre Thomas just throwing that in there that's why I say it's so much I want to talk about with this story, man, but I really can't dive into it like I want to into all the facts surface. So I can really just start from point A and go to point Z with where I want to go with. Uh, but I'm going to say, man, like, like my partner said earlier, man, condolences to the Smith family. And we will, I promise you, we will get back on this story because it's, oh, it's deep. Definitely. It's deep. Uh, and it, it shed a little light on something, man. Uh, Statement Bailey. Uh, drafted by the Rams. Shout out Stanley Bailey, man. Um, he had an incident back in November where he was shot twice in the head down in Florida. Yeah. He didn't almost made a uh, 100% recovery. Yeah, man. Where he's on his Instagram page running routes. Running catching routes. Balls. Now, get this, people. He was shot in, in the, the head, head twice. twice in November. And we're not talking about no, you know, glazes. You know, the bullet just glazed him. No. We're talking about, like, shot in the head. And he's back running routes. So, so man, hopefully, prayerfully, he'll make a full recovery and come back stronger than the other man. Yeah, cause he's young man. He just got drafted in 2013 from West Virginia. Hey, all right, man. Share some little, share some good note, man. No, no more shooting and killing. Gus lose five games this year. He gone. I guarantee. You. Um, um. Well, I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. I don't see it, man. I don't see him being fired. Now, I, they may, they may put him on the extra hot seat behind. The extra hot seat. What is that? <laughs> the this the guy extra said like, extra hot seat. Well, you know, you got hot and then you got extra, you got flaming like your boy Kevin Summer. No, he's not flaming. Yes, he's flaming. No, 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 no. His seat is flaming. No, no, bro. He got one more year. No. If he loses this year, he be on the hot seat next year. 
12 mil, you think they gonna eat 12 mil? Most definitely. That's Texas. A&M. It's, but it's the state of Texas. A&M. Bruh, listen. Texas is the wealthiest state in the country. Do you think that they, man, they pissed hold 12 on, million dollars? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just say Texas is the most wealthiest state in the country? In the country. What other state has its own natural resources? You know them palm trees out there in California, man? Man, you talking about like actors and stuff. Like I'm Texas talking about wealth home. all together. Anyway, <laughs> Texas is the wealthiest state in the country. That's facts. Okay. We're going to agree to disagree. All rigs, my brother. We're going to agree to disagree. If that's the case, we're going to go that far. Then I'm going to get deep with you and say uh, Alaska. Ain't nobody got more. more, more. It's nobody worth more, more than Alaska. And we're going to get technical with it. Richest, richest state in the union? Maryland. It's, it's, oh yeah, yeah. Dixon Mason line, yeah. in Maryland. But you know they consider they self Northerners. We don't get along with them. You know oh, DC oh, is really oh, the South for oh, real. Man, look, we're trying to say this show global. We love everybody. <laughs> I didn't say we did. I don't know what my co-host is talking about, people. <laughs> we love everybody. <laughs> Matter of fact, we're gonna sit down with some Harvey Weinstein and all of those people and get some <laughs> get some agent talk going on. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but, man, uh, did you hear that stat today that Nick Saban is the fourth oldest coach in the nation? Yeah, but he's also the number one when it comes to wins. But he's saying that now uh, college coaches are using that against him. A recruiting Same. tactic. Yeah, they're basically saying that he may or may not be there for your entire college career and things of that nature. And I mean, like... Trust me, I'm, I bleed orange or blue, but you got to give props where props is uh, is earned and, and, and definitely supposed to be given. Nick Saban is the best college football coach ever. Ever. Yeah, he really is. So I, I thought you were going to say that, though. Well, I'm, I'm impressed, shocked. <laughs> uh, I mean, I give respect where respect is due, man. He, he is the best college football coach ever. Like... I wasn't around when Bear was coaching. Man, I don't know. Brad overrated. I don't. Hey, overrated. Minute. And I'm, we're in Alabama now. I didn't say that. I, I didn't it. say that for the Bama. I guy. said it and I didn't stutter. Oh, Bear Bryant is overrated. Hey, Chris, that's the headline for the video. Bear Bryant is overrated. <laughs> got a call. Yep. Yeah, I'm on. Who is this? How you doing? This this uh this is Jamal calling back from McGarry, Alabama, Bear homie. What's going on, Mike? But I was, I was just to y'all argue about the Auburn situation, and my personal opinion, if Gus go out there stinking up again this year, dealing with the SEC and dealing with Alabama, Gus out the front door. My point is that. another head coach there in Auburn. How many losses that, you that's my before you fired? I mean, how Auburn looking, they – I watched the eight-day game like like y'all say, you know, they ain't trying to show no plays, but they still don't have no quarterback. And <laughs> and Gus supposed to be a, a offensive genius. So you should develop a quarterback by now. They don't know what's Jamal. gonna go on, on the offensive side of the football, and we both know y'all don't have no top twenty five defense in the nation. Oh no. Jamar, remember this so, name. Remember this name. Woody Barrett. Yes, sir. Just, just rem remember that. He from Who? my he from Miami. Who? He's from Miami. He's coming. To, he's coming play? to the. He plays quarterback. He's coming on the plane. He'll be reporting on the plane June fourth. I think it is. Why the hell y'all got three quarterbacks? That's, that's not enough time to catch up. I just with want to say that. What I'm saying. That's exactly. Nick Marshall did it. That's not enough Cam time. did it. Nick Marshall did it. Cam no, 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 no. You, you, no. They were pure athletes playing playing a quarterback position. They. Ain't, and Gus offense to me, you you really ain't gotta you ain't gotta read no defense. Everything's like one two reads or, or you take a running. That's don't true. Don't respect if we look at that's true. Do that. That's true. You don't play. A, you don't. You don't. You're not a pack of okay. My, pack okay, my brother. Listen, listen, listen. Let me ask you this. So if you if you running a dime, sure. right? If you running if you running a dime defense, right? And and Gus come out there yes, and wish bone. How many reads do you have on that on that defense right now? You just said on, one two on, on the wish bone. Okay, on, no, no. I mean, we run the wishbone. You probably got, you got the fullback. You probably got the running back. You probably got the the, the wide receiver coming in motion. And you can fake all that. You might be able to throw out the wishbone. How Gus play it? 
But obviously he ain't doing something right. That's true though. He's not doing something right. I, I, I say you got like four, five reads out the wishbone. You have at least six reads out the wishbone, my brother. Especially, yeah, I, I, especially, I, I, I if the, four, five. especially if the defense is in a dime. Cause you got look at you got two safeties in the dime, bro. Think about it. It depends on what type of defense you, you playing too, though. Like say, I, I, all I'm saying is say, if you playing somebody that's athletic, that can run with you, it really don't matter how many reads you got. If you playing somebody like they can Washington, Washington State, Vanderbilt can can take it. It don't. It, they don't know what's going on anyway. You, you're right. It all comes down to the to the competition. That you playing, and, and now that everybody don't have way caught on to what he doing, what what has Gus done lately? It's all about what have you done for me lately? You're absolutely correct. What has he did lately for Auburn? Uh, what three years and one national championship game appearance, and the last two has been what at home? They 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 weren't they were all Gus players since Gus got all his players in there. What has he done? He got a point there. That's my point. He got a point there. I'm, a, I'm asking. Auburn man. Gus he got quiet over here. He wanted. What has he done? He quiet over here, man. Gus got all his players in, right? This is the, this is the second yes, year. This is oh, the second third year. year. This is third year. With, with all of his players. This is his second year with all of his players. Think about it. We can make up a script. But, 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 but we both know Aubrey. Nice. My, my opinion, I don't want y'all to hang up on me, but what I'm saying is Aubrey always has a top 15, top 10 recruiting class coming in, right? You're right. Okay, so so now we're looking at, okay, you getting some of the best players in, in the United States coming to Aubrey. To me, it comes down to you're not developing them boys on the field to compete at a high level. That's my opinion. Oh, I totally agree. Because there's no way Ricardo Lewis should should have come to Auburn from Miami, from from uh what's that school down there in Miami? Dang, Northwestern. The best school in Miami. Was it Northwestern? Northwestern. Uh no no what no, Miami Central or something. Miami like Central, that. okay. No there's no way Ricardo Lewis should come to Auburn. He's the number one ranked wide receiver in the nation at that time and only get hey. A handful of touches a game. You don't even know his name. You don't even know his name. He let Duke Williams come over there and take the whole offense from him. All right, my man. Producer saying we got to go, man. Appreciate the call. We got... All right, 99.9 to plug. Who is this? What's going on? It's one time. What's up, one time? Oh, man, everything good. Everything good. How y'all doing? Man, I can't call it. Man, you hear your boy talking about Auburn just then? Oh man, I must have walked away. What did he say? Man, that joker said that there's no reason, and I kind of agree with him, but he couldn't even give me the reads out of a dime. He, I, I kind of agree with him, basically saying that Auburn uh, is is not gonna produce this year. <laughs> one time, oh, oh, oh. before you comment on that, tell me why they call you one time again. Tell at one point in time I used to be the police. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna give you long and all this stuff, man. All right. I can't say they're gonna produce. I can't say they're not gonna produce. But what I can say is, Jeremy Young's gonna be all right. Man, Jeremy is gonna be back in Montgomery, a car salesman. <laughs> and Capital Chevrolet. <laughs> Capital Chevrolet <laughs> off of Eastern Boulevard. <laughs> or he gonna be at the high school no. coaching somebody. If he don't, I'm no, gonna tell you sir. this. I'm no, gonna tell you sir. this. I'm gonna tell you this. And I talked to one of my partners earlier today about that. Uh, if Jeremy Johnson is not able to start this year, he will not get drafted. And if he don't get drafted, it's gonna be really hard for him to make the league. Really hard. Seriously. Uh, because if hey, uh, do, do you need me to come be your new co-host for your, your co <laughs> <laughs> Hey, one time, appreciate the call, man. We got to go to break, man. All right, people, <laughs> we're going to come back and we're going to wrap this thing up, man. This is DJ Bob. This is Ricky D. This is Sports Show. Bobby.